All right, so this is the Mud Skipper, two to three horsepower, super light um, long tail kit for kayaks and canoes. As a five inch prop, the kit came with one. Um, it was already uh, pretty lubed up inside, but uh, it came with the Zerk fittings that you had to attach. Um, I broke one off, I had to go to the hardware store to get one in, um, but everything was, was pre-lubed. Um, so I had to do very marginal uh, lubrication with marine grease. Um, up here on the housing is where uh, I broke my, my Zerk fitting off uh, myself. Um, so the threads are, well, threads aren't really important. Um, so it, it's a two piece uh, transom mount. So I don't have, it's not quick disconnect. Um, you need like a 10 millimeter uh, wrench to, and, and Phillips to undo these two bolts here. And then this top assembly with the motor and long tail will come off and you'll have a, a transom mount. And then what actually holds the motor is just these four bolts um, that goes into the, the PTO shaft. Uh, this kit came with um, a, a safety disconnect that you had to wire up. And then it came with, um, I would say a semi-complete, probably depends on the motor that you that you connect it to, um, complete throttle kit. So it came with the arm, which is curved. I like that uh, for putting gear up under it. The ergonomics of the, the throttle um, is probably user dependent, but I'm at least gonna have to adjust the way it sits on here and maybe even try to get one that's closer um, for my hand not perfect yet and I still got a lot of practice to do with it too. Um, the kit, I put it on a 79cc Harbor Freight Predator engine. Um, for me that was the best bang for the buck. Uh, I think I'm maybe uh, $160 into the motor with a two year warranty. Uh, so if I was to trash this in the lake and as long as I could recover the motor um, and get it back to Harbor Freight they'll replace it as long as it drains the fluids out. So for me that was the best deal than dealing with anything off the web that I might have to send back. So I would think about that in terms of warranty of the motor. Um, it does pretty good. Um, I'll give you guys a start. I have ran it for about, I don't know, 20 minutes. So I'll give it a quick start over here. disconnect does work on it and also what it does is there's a button on here too to where you can turn the motor off closer than having to reach all the way back in, the, in your yak or, or uh, layout boat. That's all about how you wire it. I would say um, so the, the vessel that it's powering uh, this is the new canoe unlimited uh, has a 650 pound rated capacity. Um, as far as weight goes, it's a 12 foot, uh, 12 and a half foot long boat or kayak with, uh, I think it's 41 or 42 inches wide. Uh, it's a displacement hull. So it, it just kind of pushes water out of the way. It, it doesn't plane. Um, I weigh about 215 pounds. Uh, with clothes and everything on. Uh, I'd say I was probably doing, I don't know, five. I'll do a conservative estimate, maybe five miles an hour uh, in this boat with the motor, uh, two paddle, or a paddle, a, a pole and a, a piece of wood to sit on and a life, a life vest. Um, dry weight of the motor came in uh, with mount. Whenever I, I stood on the scale with it was around 41 and a half pounds. Kit online says the kit weighs 35 pounds, and I think that's an over conservative estimate, at least for for mine uh, that I received. Uh, I put when I put the, the fluids in the oil, I think it's like a you know like a third of a quart of oil, and then um, almost a, a half gallon of gasoline in the engine. 
I stepped on the scale, the whole kit weighed about 46 and a half pounds. Um, so I did not include the, the actual transom bracket, which is about three pounds. So my entire kit, um, I'd say comes in at around 49, uh, 50 pounds, which is about 20 pounds lighter than I expected. And uh, before this, I was powering this with a new canoe uh, EPS kit uh, with about a 50 pound thrust Minn Kota and a, a lead acid battery. Um, the battery itself weighs 45 pounds. I'd say the motor and mount kit probably weighs another 20. So this is already lighter than an electric option. I would say I get much more range and uh, speed out of it. And then, of course, when the battery dies or runs out of gas, I can fill it back up. Um, that's pretty much it for the kit that I think I covered. Um, you're going to need a complete wrench set probably assemble it. It does come with, uh, it came with like three, three wrenches. Um, it is, it does skip some sizes for bolts that you need. So just know that. Um, but mostly it deals with 19 millimeter being your largest. And I don't think I had anything in the kit that was um, smaller than eight millimeters. And then a, a Phillips head screwdriver. Um, and then your Harbor Freight uh, that's just a different ball game. You'll have to read the instructions on whatever motor you put on it from there. All in all, uh, you know, I'm going to use it for duck season, and uh, I'm pretty impressed with it so far for the cost. Um, I'm under $500 for everything uh, from the kit with the discount uh, that I received. Uh, I got it all shipped to me for $350, $353. Um, so that plus the motor. Um, when I was out, I think shipping was $25 compared to competitors of other small kits like this were about $75. Uh, and your package just came in two, two pieces. It was a two-piece shipment, but all of that was still $25. Um, but yeah, all in all, I'm, so far I'm happy with it. And maybe I'll do a review later and, uh, and see how it does after one season of duck hunting. I plan on putting a Northern Flight blind on here with a 60-pound Labrador about 50 pounds of decoys, shotgun, and meat. Um, and hopefully we'll get 